Today, we have a game changer for anyone that's using Oculus Link to play PC VR games. You don't have to wait months until the full release of future drivers to massively improve the visuals while running Link with up to 500 megabytes per second decoder bandwidth compared to the previous 150 megabytes per second we've all been using. Quick disclaimer, this is a beta version. I'm not saying it will be perfect in every way. It's a test software before the public release, so bear that in mind. You will also need a high-end graphics card to boost up the bandwidth so your mileage may vary depending. You will also need a better cable than a USB 2 cable. I'd personally recommend buying a USB Type-C Gen 3 cable to stay future-proof with Link as it progresses more in the future. This is very simple to do in a few steps and can be done in under 5 minutes with only a few clicks. So let's do it now. Step 1. Firstly, you want to open Oculus Link PC software, making sure you're on the newest public version. If, however, you don't have it, head to the Oculus site and download it first at oculus.com forward slash setup forward slash. The link will also be down below. Once it's open, head into the settings tab, click beta on the top right and click enable on the public test channel option switch. Wait while it downloads the latest version and then let it auto restart afterwards. This only takes two minutes, so just be patient. Step two, once that's done, head over to your C drive and find the programs files folder. Then open the Oculus folder. After that, open the support folder. Then head into the diagnostics folder. Finally, once in there, double click on the Oculus debug tool to open the final menu that you'll need. Step three, once in the Oculus debug tool menu, Look down to the middle of the tab and you'll see encode rate. Now you will need a decent graphics card if you want to set it up to 500 megabytes per second. If you have anything lower than say an RTX 2070, you may want to try around 350 megabytes per second or even lower. It will depend on your system as a whole. Once you decide on your chosen bandwidth, click service at the very top of the Oculus debug tool then select Restart Service. If it asks you to do it as admin, just do so. It should now stay on the setting. If you find it lags or stutters during gameplay, you may want to try a slightly lower compression rate and double check that your cable is good enough. I've only had a chance to test this briefly on Project Cars 2 and Half-Life Alex so far today but moving from 150 megabytes per second to 500 megabytes per second compression rate has made a big difference with clarity, detail, and it looks way less patchy and dull. Comment down below and let me know how you get on with it. And please give it a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.